All right, today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is 2010, but really it's the same as 2013 or 2007, because uh, we're just going over the basics. All right, so first off, uh, spreadsheets are great because if they, if you change a number, uh, it does all the calculations for you after you make that change. Uh, so for example, let's say I set up here 34 and 5, all right? And we know in our mind we can just add those up as 39, or I can do equals. And I can just type in, uh, you know, B3 plus B2, I hit enter, and there it is. Um, or I can do something like this. So I could do 33 and 22. Uh, the other way I can do this is equals. I can click on this one. I can hit my little plus sign, and I click on that one. So you can type it in, or you can click on it. All right, so we'll say this is our total. Uh, maybe we'll have dogs and cats, and up here, we could have something like uh, food and water. <laughs> okay, so this is how much the food, how much food the dog eats. This is how much the water the dog drinks, and same with the cat. Then we could have total food and total water. So what's great about this is let's say the dog's eating more. So I'll say 45. I made a mistake. This number right here will change, and see it shows 50, which is great. Um, if you just and, you know, if this changes, it'll change other numbers too. So, for example, over here, I could have equals this cell right here. So, equals just B4. All right. So, when I click on this, first off, I should also show you that when I click on this, this is G4. So, right there is the cell name, and this is the formula bar right here. So, if I ever want to see what's inside of it, I can just look up here. Or I can double-click on it, and it'll show as well. All right. So, let's change that dog. So let's change this to 46. And you'll see not only this number changes, but this one does as well. So 51 and now 51 over here as well. So that's great. Okay, so let's uh, try some conditional formatting too. So if let's say I highlight uh, this area right here and I wanna just look at my high expenses, let's say, I can do conditional formatting and I could do something like highlight cells that are greater than a certain number. So I'll say, um, you know, maybe 20, okay? Or let's do a little lower, let's do, um, or higher. Let's do 30. All right. And I can change that to red text or red border or whatever else. I'm just going to change to red text. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. And I can see that now this is 46 and this is 33 and they're both in red because it's above 30. If I ever drop that number down to, let's say, 25 and hit enter, it turns it back to black, which is great. So let's say our water bill even goes down too. So let's say I, uh, the dog's only drinking 10 now and the cat's only drinking 5. Um, that changes that number as well. So you can see our problem is our dog eats a lot of food. <laughs> and so that's our high expense. And you can see it's in red. Another thing we can do is look at formulas. Um, you can auto sum these things together. So if I just you know, press in this box right here, hit auto sum, which is on the formulas tab, it'll say, hey, do you want to add these two together? I hit enter, and there it is right there. So I could have up here maybe the, the grand total, all right, and make that a little bit wider. See, this isn't quite fitting, so I can just go in between these two columns and pull it to the right. Um, you know, and I can do some nice fancy stuff. So if I highlight this and I can go up to home and I could change like the table style and you can't really see them because I know they're a little bit off camera, but I can choose uh, what it looks like and say, hey, do you want to do it like that? Sure, why not? And this just changed the columns. Um, so I'm not going to do that quite yet, but um, one other thing you can do is I have this auto sum in here. So let's go back to our formulas. Um, they also have in their average, max, min, and they have all these other um, functions that you can do as well. There's logical and text and financial and blah, 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 blah. There's a whole bunch. Um, so you can pretty much do anything. Uh, you can see right here it's sum, and let's say I wanted to add tax. So because it's already in parentheses, I can also go like, you know, times 0.2, and that'd be like a 20% tax, um, and so that'd be 13. Or I could say you know, 1.2. And that would change it to, you know, adding these together times 1.2. Um, and it doesn't, you can do however many parentheses you want. So maybe I want to also put some other numbers in there. So maybe I want it to also times by this number. Um, and then that will work as well. And I'm going to put these in parentheses as well. Oops. So you can also click up here to make your changes. All right. And now it says 0 because there's actually nothing in here. If I double click on this, I can see that, okay, it's using these two numbers here in blue and then in green it's using this number times 1.2. Well, if you're using division or multiplication, 
uh, there's nothing in this box. So I'm going to click in there, and you know, if, whatever number I put in there, it's going to change this number right here, then, right? So it's it's uh, adding these two together, and then times it by this, and then also by 1.2, uh, and you can see it right there. So, all right, let's. Uh, I'm going to delete that for now, and um, maybe I'll get rid of all of this. Maybe it's just the adding it together, and I hit enter, and it goes back to 66, adding these up together. Um, I can also sort it. So let's say I I'm going to highlight these numbers here and go to home and go to, and I'm sorry no data and I can sort A to Z and if I press that it's saying hey do you want to make sure you include the things next to it and I say okay yes do, do that so now cats are on top dogs are on bottom or I could do the opposite of that and it's saying do you want to expand the selection saying do you want to also change these words over here and I say okay sure um, I'm just gonna undo that so there's a way to sort it as well um, and last, let's put in a title. So I can highlight all this. Maybe I want to put a, a row above it. And there's a couple ways I can do that. First off, I can just highlight and do Control X to cut it. And I can click down here and do Control V to paste. And now I can have some room up here. So let's say I want to say um, dog and cat costs. All right. You can see it kind of runs in a, into B. If I click on B, that shows there's nothing inside there in the formula bar. But if I click in here, it's all of it. So really what I want to do is have it go across the entire way and center it up. So I can go to the Home tab here and click this Merge and Center button, and now it's made it one giant cell. A1 goes all the way from this side all the way to the end of D. And I can take that, and I can also increase the size and do other fun things with it. Um, but you can you know, play around with that yourself. So that's the basics. Um, it's, it's great that when you change something like this, not only does the colors can change, but it also changes the total here and over here. And um, it works really well. So uh, have fun. Good luck. Enjoy.